Yo guys, what's up? This is Tom from Unreal Matter. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an aqueous glass material in Unreal Engine. So let's start. First, you need to go to your main node and change the blend mode from opaque to translucent. Then scroll down to lighting mode and change it to surface translucency volume so we get more what we can select here. So at first, right click and search for Fresnel function. What this does is it distorts the glass so it looks way more realistic and as you can see here is a power input so we press one left click and get this node convert it to a parameter and let's call this power and plug this in the power let's change the default value from 0 to 3 that is what works the best for me and we can begin with the main setup for the base color press 3 on the keyboard, left click and convert it to parameter and let's call this color so you can change it later in the material instance. Left click and I give it a white color with a bluish tint. That is just what I like the most and I plug this in the base color. For the next step we do reflection, opacity and refraction. So we right click and search for lerp. That's a linear interpolate node and we can plug it into metallic. Metallic will give us the reflections. We press one again and left click and get this node, convert it to parameter and let's call this reflection. And this is the front side. Press Ctrl W to get another node and let's call this reflection side. So we have the front and the side. Now you can plug the pin from the side into B and the pin from the front into A. Select all these nodes and press Ctrl W one time and another time. So this pin goes into opacity and this pin goes into refraction. I tell you later what we will do with it. So let's change our names and our values. For the reflection front I will set a value of 0 0.05. For the reflection side I'll just go with 1. Then change the name from reflection to opacity, opacity front and opacity side. This number will stay at 0 0.05 and this number will go to 0 0.2. Now we will change the name from reflection to refract. For the front we will take a value of 1.2 and for the side we will take a value of 0 0.8. So these values work the best for me and the opacity is just the opacity of the glass and the reflection and the refraction is just for the light how it reflects and refracts. As you can see we have a glass material here but there's no distortion and it looks not so realistic. So we take the result pin from the Fresnel function and plug it into all the alphas. And for this material we don't need roughness so we press 1 on the keyboard, left click and convert it to a parameter again and let's call this roughness and this pin goes just in a roughness. And we're basically ready. So just save your material. If you right click on the material and create a material instance you can go into that and we will see a nice glass material with the distortion here and it looks really realistic. And you can tweak the values here and the color. You can make tinted glass, maybe blue, red or even green. All the colors, but I leave it at here, like white bluish. Click OK. And you're basically ready. You can do everything what you want with this. So I hope you liked the tutorial. If yes, please leave a thumbs up. If not, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.